Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Connective TV. I'm Michael Gurner. This week we welcome back Paul from AFM for his segment on habits of high converting brokers. Also, just a reminder, this week the MFAA National Conference in Adelaide. Don't forget we've got a stand there, so if you're there, make sure you go and see the guys from Connective. Anyway, let's get over to Coxie with the lending information. Heritage Bank changed their one, two, three and five year fixed rates effective Friday the 11th of May, with their variable rate decreasing by 0.30%, although their discounted variable rate loan reduced by 0.46%, providing a rate of just 5.99%. Iden Group reduced their rates effective the 7th of May last. Homeside reduced their variable rates by an amount of 0.32% and their one to three year fixed rates effective 11th of May. They have also increased the discounts on their loan packages effective 18th of May. The changes are too numerous to mention here, so please refer to the flyer in the weekly bulletin. ING Commercial, for a limited time, is reducing the commitment fee for commercial loans from 0.25% of the loan amount to a flat fee of just $500. This offer is available for loans received from the 11th of May until close of business on the 30th of November 2012. Interest in advance loans, both existing and those wishing to switch, must be received by the 1st of June and will receive a 0.10% discount of the interest in advance rate. ING Direct has reduced their one, two and three year fixed rates effective from the 11th of May. They've also made major changes to the broker application experience, with brokers able to submit variations online, supporting documents can now be emailed and more information is now available to brokers online. Commonwealth Bank reduced their one-year interest in advance product to 5.64% in the MAV package, effective from Friday the 11th of May. And this offer is available until Friday the 1st of June 2012. They've also enhanced their system to include details of repayment information. And effective 28th of May, have introduced a new progress payment inspection system. Latrobe Financial provided their new products guide, which includes reduced variable rates of 0.30% for both residential and commercial rates effective from the 8th of May. Home loans de decreased their fixed rates on their ProSmart product loans for both full doc and SMSF loans and the Ultra and Ultra Plus products also reduced effective from the 10th of May. ANZ Bank is making changes to some of their mortgage processing effective 28th of May. The changes are too numerous to mention here, so refer to the Mortgage Matters flyer dated 10th of May last. They also announced a reduction in their variable rates by 0.37% effective from the 18th of May and reduced their one and two year fixed rates effective 14th of May. Adelaide Bank decreased their variable rates by 0.35% effective from the 21st of May and decreased fixed rates from the 9th of May. Adelaide Bank Commercial also reduced their one to five year fixed rates on the 14th of May. Australian First Mortgage announced changes to their interest rates effective the 11th of May. The changes to their products are too numerous to mention, so refer to the AFM flyer in the weekly bulletin. Connective Home Loans announced the Solution Home Loans variable rate has decreased by 0.30% along with the one, two and three year fixed rates. The options variable rate loan decreased by an amount of 0.35%. FirstMac, effective 25th of May, decreased their variable rates by 0.33%. Westpac Bank reduced their one and three year fixed rates effective the 15th of May. 
and MKM announced they pay mandated brokerage at settlement, commission is paid within 24 hours of settlement, trail is paid for the life of the loan, and no clawbacks ever. LoanAv announced changes to their fixed and variable rates effective from the 14th of May. Suncorp made changes on their Back to Basics loan, increasing the discount from 0.15% to 0.20%, effective 11th of May. They have also decreased their variable rate by 0.35%, effective 14th of May, and decreased their 1, 2 and 5 year fixed rates, effective 16th of May. Liberty Financial has reduced prime standard rates by 0.40% for all new business, while rates on custom loans and existing business will reduce by 0.35%. They have also reduced 1, 2 and 3 year fixed rates. Loans Today want to hear from you if you want to know more about their personal loan offerings. St George, Bank SA and Bank of Melbourne are introducing automated reset functionality for their broker website commencing the 17th of May. Police and nurses reduced their variable rates effective 18th of May. Citibank remind us they have a special promotional rate on their Citibank Mortgage Plus product, offering a variable rate of 6.09% for loans over $150,000, where the LVR is up to 80%. This special rate is available until the 30th of June 2012. Provident Capital reduced their premium and premium light rates by 0.35%. The rates on their platinum products will reduce by varying amounts ranging from 0.50% to 0.25%. The ROC announced a decrease in their variable rate of 0.30% effective from the 18th of May. The Rockstar variable discount and the package loans remain one of the most competitive in the market. And remember to look out for the weekly bulletin, which was sent out last Friday. This week, we're going to talk about smart credit. I know you've been waiting with bated breath for the last week to find out about smart credit. Well, smart credit is about putting yourself in the shoes of the credit person. How do they look at the deal? How are they going to assess it? How do they view the deal that you've put up to them? Are they going to look at it the same way as you do? When we talk about smart credit, what we're talking about is putting yourself in the shoes of the credit person that's going to assess your deal. Thinking the way they think and providing the information to that credit person that they will need to give you the decision you need for your client. week on Connective TV, we're going to look at valuations and some of the issues that may arise. At the recent PD days, you would have seen a slide that at Connective we have now exceeded membership of 1,400 nationally. What we want to do is make sure that we all benefit from that exposure and that spread that we have nationally. And next week I'll be introducing and talking about a new service that could potentially bring new business through every one of our doors. Lots of great information in there. Don't forget that you can follow Connective and the sales team on Twitter and Facebook. Anyway, that's all for this week. I'm Michael Gurner. Goodbye. <laughs>